Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shen Plays. Welcome back to Flanders. Side Flanders? Not so much. We're actually doing all right. Flanders 46. We just finished 46, and it's going to be probably the last episode tonight. Flanders 47. Uh, we have declared war on Italy. We are concerned about Italy and Toulouse just wrecking havoc over here in Western and Southern Europe, and it's time for us to put our foot down and let them know that they're not allowed to wreck havoc in Eastern and Southern Europe. Uh, that being said, we just finished a large defensive battle in Dauphine where it was like 75 guys versus 85 guys, and we won. So we're going to heal up and relax for a little bit um, before we continue the invasion. We have to continue the invasion. We can't just sit on our laurels and, you know, hope for the best. We have to press the advantage. So that being said, do I have an army that's mostly healed up? Yeah, that one's pretty good. Let me put the general on that mostly healed up army. Oop. And actually, can I get some more non-cavalry in there? Yeah. We'll group up and split. I want to chase down this Toulouse army and squish it. Because this guy, he needs to go away. Oh, perfect. He's going to arrive up here on the, on the 30th. Fantastic. Fantabulous. Eighth, ninth, go. Go get him. Oh, hi, Toulouse. What's up, bro? I'm going to get another general. Wow. Oh my. Are you kidding me? We have 46 tradition, and we just got a general with 2-0. I mean, he might as well not exist. Because fire doesn't exist yet. There's no guns yet. Everything is shock. So that gen... No, I'm just going to get another one. There we go. 3-5. Really? So with 46 tradition, we got a 2-0, and then we did it again, and we got 3-5. Wow. I mean, this guy is just garbage. What a joke. That was 50 wasted points. My goodness. All right, four, or three, five. Not bad. I'll take that any day. And I think we're going to follow him to his capital. I'm not sure where he's going to run to, but we'll find out. He's running to Paragord. Interesting. So he might go to... Gui Guiana, something like that. Anyway, go back and heal up. We're just going to take turns. Oh, here comes Italy. Yeah. All right, so you're going to run to Savoy. I assume he's hitting us in Piedmont. I assume. Might be incorrect assumption, but I assume anyway. It is my right as a human being to make assumptions. Yes, he is going to Piedmont. Uh, that is fine by me. Let's beef up Piedmont a bit. And yes, he is going to Guiana. Perfect. I will meet him there with my 3-5 general. Let me turn on my check -a box. Oh, wow. he might insta-squish me. I hadn't thought of that. He's going to insta-squish me because he has more than 10 times my soldiers. Oh, fuck. Um... Can I checkbox and go? Nope, he's gonna squish. Damn it, fuck me, man. I with the mountain defense and everything, and I forgot about the whole 10 to 1 means insta squish. What a joke. What a joke. Alright, looks like we're gonna fight in Savoy then. Nope, he changed his mind. He's no longer fighting me. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Damn it. Fuck. Well, we killed Toulouse's army, but that's not really a good consolation prize. I'm rather pissed that I forgot about the whole 10 to 1 ratio. Insta-squish. Even in the mountains, across a river, doesn't matter. You just insta-squish. There is no defense when you're 10 to 1 down. Damn it. Okay. Onward. Okay, there goes Savoy. Group up. I'm not going to attack him, but I will position myself to defend a little bit. Uh, let's get...
All right, he's retreating out of there. That's fine. He's going to surrender his position in Piedmont. I like that. How long until you get there? The 12th. Perfect. No? 13, okay. There we go. So he surrendered his position. That means we can get to Piedmont? 20th of August. 22nd of August. Damn, can I get to Piedmont? Can I get a break? Okay, yeah, he's gonna let me go to Piedmont now. Good. So we'll siege up Piedmont next. Attack me now, you son of a bitch. Um, that's fine. We'll drop off a few guys there. Okay, he is attacking me. Yes, he's bringing 53,000 guys to Piedmont. This is perfect. Bring it, bitch. He's arriving on the 30th. Okay, 6, 7, 8, 9... March right in. Fuck it. Mountains across the river. We're golden. We're also a tech ahead of this guy, so that should help out. Uh, let's... Break into smaller groups. Go siege Normandy. Go siege... Let's siege the things that we have claims on. There we go. Cardinal, good times. I think we have complete stranglehold on the Kyria now. We have automatic investments on every Cardinal, and I don't see anyone really challenging us on any of them. We have leftover points. Alright, so you're going to stay there. You're going to go home and heal up. Good times. Dauphine has fallen. Move on to Provence. Yeah, works. Good. Kill him and come back. We're at max points, so let's go ahead and tech up. Okay, how are you doing here? What's our force center? 20, 26 supply limit there. Not the best. But we can spread out and it'll be fine. Poor Italy. I wonder if we can just peace out Austria at some point. He doesn't need to be in this war. Look at these friendly. Yeah, let's see if he wants... Oh my goodness. Galicia was annexed. Holy fuck. See, this is... Jesus Christ. That's what I was worried about. A lot of things like that. Oh, looks like he's coming to fight me with his 2-5 general. So we'll drop a, a siege down here and we'll head to Cuneo. So we can hit Provence as soon as, as fast as possible. Oh yes, we're getting hit from both directions. Look at that. Neat. Get in there and fight, maggot. Alright, that changed his tune. Good. We scared him. Yeah, we've burned through 40,000 manpower, and we still have 10 more to catch up, but I still think it's worth it. Alright, here's Italy. You guys can group up again. Let's hit up Savoy. Actually, you can go to Dauphin. It's fine. Interesting. Where are you going? Piedmont? Yep. Alright, we'll go Piedmont. That's fine. Nope, he changed his mind. Okay. Uh, can we get into Lombardia? I hope so.
Yep, everybody has committed to Lombardia. And it's not in the mountains, unfortunately. Uh, we should bring our 3-5, though. 3-5 is so good. So you want out of the war, Austria? He does not want out of the war. Okay. Really wish the AI would have some type of reason to stay in the war. Uh, no, not that. Alliance. Oh, he won't take an alliance? Because we're at war. Well, you said you were going to join my war, and then you didn't do it, you son of a bitch. Fuck you, Asturias. I'm trying to help you out with the whole Reconquista thing, and it's like, I'm going to join your war, and then he doesn't join. It's like, are you kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? Are you high or something? All right, we killed a lot of his dudes. How is our war exhaustion? Eh, it's not that bad. It will get bad as we start regrouping some of these units, but for now, it's fine. Um, I'm going to group up you guys as a nice death stack, because I want to squish some bodies. Uh, let's follow his main army to... he's running to Cremona. All right, follow him. He's probably going to Rome, or Abruzzi, or something like that. Follow him at least to Florence. And the backup army is going to follow Austria, I guess. Can we do that? See if we can't squish this guy? I don't know where he's going to retreat to. Oh, we're under attack. Alright, go there then. Whatever. Oh, he stopped in Florence. Great. Let's see if we can't squish him here. He has no morale. But he did get the end of the month tick. So we'll see how it goes. Come on. Die, you son of a bitch. No, he's not going to die. We rolled a zero. Stop rolling zeros. That's a joke. He's going to retreat. Fuck you. Probably to Gores. Maybe even Venice. Okay, we killed the Toulouse army again. Barry has fallen. Long live Barry. I think we can safely spread out into smaller sieging armies. This is overkill. Don't go to Venice. Don't go to Venice. He's going to Venice. Fuck. That means we can't follow him either. But we can trap him there. We can trap his army in Venice. So that's something, I guess. Sucks that he went to Venice instead of Friuli. Uh, my navy can't really deal with Austria's navy. I mean, in Italy's navy, unfortunately. It's just not something that I can do. He has too many galleys. Galley, please. Yeah. Let me in! But he won't let me in. Damn it. Oh, he's got rebels. Look at this. Albrecian nationalist. What the fuck is Albrecian? Albrecian. I don't even know. Albrecian na It's gotta be Marsan, because it doesn't... It says Albrecian, but... No, it's, got, it's gotta be Marsan. Albrecian. I've never heard of Albrecht, or Albrecia, or any of that shit. Too bad Italy retreated out of my range. Oh well. What can you do? Now we have three claims on Toulouse. But we don't have to take them, it's just we have the claims. I'm go squish that little stack if you don't mind. Squish.
Poor Italy. Poor Italy. Wonder if we should get relations up with Valois. Maybe. Wow, someone's voting for Croatia. That's an interesting vote. Relations with Salzburg, please. Relations with Augsburg, please. It's almost 1500. Yeah, next year, 1500. Look at that. Nice. We really have been burning through these years, haven't we? Not sure that's a good or a bad thing, but it is a thing. Oh god, Germany has a second peasants war? Holy shit, Germany, what's with all the peasants wars? Wow. And he's actually attacking me in Treviso, are you kidding me? He's attacking me across, across a double river. It's considered a double river, it's a crossing minus two. Into the mountain, so he's got a mi minus four for this. And I've got a five shock general, he is so fucked. Oh my god, what are you doing, Italy? He's losing thousands every day, wow. That is some... That's either some balls of, of... I'm just gonna call it balls of stupid. Balls of stupid. Wow, I can't believe you're attacking me across the river into the mountains. That's just crazy. Uh, yeah, let's head this way. Thought you said it was gonna be a peaceful colonial playthrough. It was, but the thing is, if, if we just let Italy and Toulouse high-five each other all the way to annexing everyone in Europe, then we're going to be in a horrible position. We're basically turning into the police. We are the police. I'm not sure what else we can do other than be the police. I mean, the battle's not over yet. I'm surprised. That this battle's going on this long. Um, at the end of the day, I'm confident that Italy will retreat from that battle. Albrecian nationalists. Okay. Yeah, and he's not retreating to Venice. Perfect. Um, drop off a small siege and let's go squish him. Please die in Florence. Yep, he's staying in Florence. Can we get there before the end of the month? Looks like yes. Yep, before the end of the month. Good. Uh, that means he might just die. Wouldn't that be nice if he just dies? Sign here if you would like to die. I would like to die. Oh shit, we're getting attacked in, uh, whatever this is called. Kill them dead. Squish, please. Why are you no squish? Motherfucker. I need you to squish. Why are you no squish? Damn it, he's just gonna retreat. Oh, but he's not going very far. He's going to Rome. That should be it. Squish, squish, squish. You have no morale. Give up. Oh, shit. We lost a battle in Toulouse. I didn't want you to go to Toulouse. Oh, fuck. One of my armies went to Toulouse, and I didn't want him to. Damn it. I thought I was being careful about my planning to move around Toulouse. Oh, well. Yay, Italy's army squished. Good times. Go siege his capital. Wait, that is his capital. Well, drop a siege then. Or a couple. Uh, one more dude, please. I'm trying to group up enough dudes to actually go fight that eight stack. I think this is enough. One more.
you. Go over there. Good man. Getting lots of money while we're looting. We're looting Italy. We, lo we just looted Rome, by the way. Some nice cash for that. Limousine has fallen. Drop off some sieges. Over there. Over there. Split, go to Modena. Split, go to Parma. Split, go to Brescia. Split, go to Mantua. Uh, you guys are all pretty split already. Alright. Leave small guy here. Everyone else go to Toulouse. Calham! Fucking rebels! I think we got this. Yeah, we got this. Good! Avignon? Oh yeah, Avignon! True. Um, Alright, you go to Avignon. There you go. Good times. Go up there. Save Bury. Operation Save Bury. There goes Toulouse. Wow. The moment we fin the moment we killed that army, uh, Toulouse fell. Wow. All right, let's head up to Ferrara. Looks like he's got a decent army over here that's forming. That's not cool. And he's actually attacking me like a total douche nozzle. Fuck you, dude. I'm a tech ahead of you. Yeah, I'm still a tech ahead of you. Avignon is a level 4 fort. Oh my god, it is. Why would you do that to me, Avignon? And he is recruiting as many dudes as he can just to be a numpty. I mean, I, I wouldn't respect him if he didn't do that, but still. It is kind of annoying. Alright, how is our war score with Toulouse? 65%. Well, what can we get for 65%? I don't know. I'll tell you what, though. I do want to get out of this war as soon as possible. Or we might even just merge some of our troops now, because recruiting them is going to cost us too much manpower. Uh, what, do we, what do we want? We have some claims, right? We do, but it's still 45 points, even if we have a claim, because we didn't declare war on them. I want them to break their alliance with Italy, for sure. Uh, can I make you release anybody like uh, Provence? He would not release Provence, even though it's only two. It's only two provinces, and he won't release them. Isn't that crazy? Wow, I can't believe that. That's a that is ridiculous. It costs more to release him, more war score than it does just to take the land. Look at that, 83, 85. Wow. Hmm. Get rid of your vassal. Return cores. Could return some cores to France. Could return core to the Shia Caliphate. I don't want to do that. We still haven't finished sieging Normandy. That's embarrassing. Why have we not finished sieging Normandy? Wow. Oh my goodness. He is seriously being a dick over here. King Dick. Otherwise known as Italy. Uh... Yeah, let's go up there and fight. What a dick. I mean, it's not that bad. It's just fucking annoying, that's all. Alright, what do we want? I probably want Normandy, because we have a claim on it. Uh, we'll take Normandy and Poitou, and that's probably it. Just a couple provinces, right? And then peace out, core them up. Piedmont and Cuneo, move on.
Oh, Lithuania lost to Russia. Look at that. Lithuania will renounce their claims on Palatsk, Minsk, and Tarov. Lithuania will give Kors Zemitia to Denmark. Lithuania will annul trees with Poland. Will release Beresi as a province. Wow, Lithuania got their ass handed them by Russia. I did not expect that. I expected Lithuania to kick Russia's teeth in. And instead, Lithuania wound up losing his alliance with Poland. Damn, Russia, you scary dog. Well, that's nice. I like that there's some variety. It's not, you know, predicted who's going to win. Well, it's not predictable, I should say. It's not guaranteed who's going to win. Hmm, neat. All right, GTFO. Can we do that? Do we have any more cannons? Do we have any cannons? We have a cannon. Yeah, get up there. Good man. Good man with a cannon. Ooh, lose... Nah, we'll lose the prestige. Denmark will siege Schleswig to Bremen. God damn it, Bremen, you bastard. What a jerk. Oh, he's got rebels. What are these? Pretender rebels. Oh, and they're in his capital, too. Holy shit, those pretenders are definitely going to win. They are everywhere. Huh. Wonder what's going to happen. Are they going to flip to a republic? Probably. Bremen is currently a kingdom. But uh, I think he's going to flip to a republic now. You want out of this, Austria? Come on. Nope, not even not even interested. Damn it, Austria. Munster left the coalition against us. Good. We, we're just good people, Munster. You know that. Take Venice? Nope, we can't even get to Venice. So, that's not going to happen. Yep, Bremen has gone noble republic. Nope, kingdom. What was it? Who went noble republic? Bremen changed their government to feudal monarchy. Oh, they, ch they just changed to a different kind of monarchy. Corinthia has gone noble republic. Look at that. Nice. Well, interesting anyway. I'm not sure if it's nice, but it's interesting. Four soldiers. I think I'll replace you down there, and you can take your cannons up to uh, Normandy. Nope, oh, he just recruited a merc in Rome. That's not going to work, dude. It's not going to work. Um, Give me you. Go there. Lombardia has finished. Good times. Good times. Go to Trent. Come on. Come on. Oh, we're under attack in Modena. Hmm. Okay. Go kick some butt. Should be fine. Come on. There we go. Go to Normandy. I want that siege to finish, then we can peace out Toulouse. Then we can look at Italy a little later. Oh, shit, he's got ten troops up there. I'll just retreat. Oh, Austria. Yeah, that's what it is. Bremen left the coalition against us. Mm -hmm. Oh, we actually lost that army. Really? God damn it. Oh, well. At least we don't have to replenish them anymore. There's always a bright side to everything, right? Oh, Austria, what a dick. Get up there. Why won't you peace out, Austria? He's friendly towards me, but he doesn't want out of the war. The war's been going on for three years, and he doesn't want out of the war. Even though he's friendly towards me. Who knows? That's just dumb in my book, but whatever. Lost our marriage with Asturias. Let's get it back. Still can't get our alliance with them. Because we're in war. Normandy still has not finished. And it needs to. Come 
Come on. Not gonna squish. Nope. Doesn't matter. We'll do some damage. And he's gonna retreat to Gore. No, he's gonna retreat to Venice. He's gonna go to Venice. Of course he's going to Venice. Of course. Do any cannons here? We do. Cannons go. The more cannons, the merrier in Normandy. We need uh, nine cannons to get a plus three. Well, that might be nine cannons. It is not nine cannons. It is eight cannons. Damn it. Oh, we got some more cannons down here. There you go. Now go this way. Troops just sh sitting around when they could be helping out. Bremen is coalitioning Germany. Okay. Come on, I, just get out of there. Get out of there already. We're going to be at 100% and I still can't piece him out because Normandy, one of the first provinces we sieged, still hasn't fallen. It's like a fucking rock. Under attack again. Of course we are. Austria still does not want peace even though he's friendly. Nope, he doesn't care. Wars been going on for three years. He doesn't want any peace. He's like, fuck peace. Alright, go siege up Trent. Come on, 49%. Finish the goddamn siege, please. No. Nope. Not happening. Not finishing any siege around here. Please. Nope, failed again. Come on, I want to go to bed. It's fucking 11 p.m. Let me go to bed, game. We can excommunicate Germany again. Okay. Done and done. Great. Oh, Bavaria is now the emperor. Emperor. War of Val Valois succession. Germany has three personal unions now brandenburg valois and slavonia it's the carlings they just they're everywhere and apparently byzantium is the one threatening germany for that claim wow so they immediately elected a new emperor bavaria good times I mean, this is just sad. How many times do we have to siege Normandy? Oh my god, we're at 100%. We're at 100% on Toulouse. And we still have not finished Normandy. What the fuck? Game, come on. Just finish Normandy. So we can. I can go to bed. We can all just... Oh, man. We're going to have Italy at 100% before we finish Normandy, aren't we? I mean, this is just a joke at, at this point. <laughs> this is crazy. There goes Normandy. Oh my god. Fucking finally. Holy shit did that hold out forever. We're at 100% on these clowns. Get rid of your alliance with Italy. Uh, give me Poitou, Normandy, and Guienne. Well, I don't even have a claim on Guienne. Don't have a claim? Don't care. I want it. I get it. There we go. Now, why are we going for these provinces specifically? Well, A, they have good base tax. Uh, they, they Look at this. This one costs 333 points to core. It is insanely expensive. I think actually what we'll do here is we can release uh, Marsan as a vassal. That's, that's a legit play here. 
That way we don't have to core this ourselves. The base 8, I don't want to spend 333 points coring that crap. I just spent God knows how much coring this base 6, probably about 290. Anywhere that has a French core is extremely expensive to core. And believe it or not, the whole French region has French cores. So it's, it's just, it's really expensive to take this land. Anywho, we finally got that, and I'm going to get my ass to bed. So thank you guys for joining me. I have been Shen. You have been you. Come back next time where these troops will hopefully not stay stranded here. We'll just siege it up, peace out Italy, and get them home. Uh, but before we do that, we're going to finish coring Poitou and Normandy. That'll be 1503, about two years. So about two years from now, we'll peace out Italy. Probably just take these three provinces, or even just two, or even just one. Um, we, might, we might not want to take anything. Yeah, maybe we won't take anything from the HRE. Maybe we'll just take Leone, and then we'll make him release the Pope and, I don't know, whatever else is available. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day.